Hey, what's going on? Dodgers Nation, DMAC here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Quick reminder for all things Dodger baseball all off season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. Really helps out the channel. And as always, give me your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you think the Dodgers should have done more to try to re-sign Corey Seager? Should they have offered him 10 years $325 million would you have liked to see LA bring him back let me know down below in the comments section and for all latest Dodgers news head over to DodgersNation.com so it's taken a few days to process, but Corey Seager really is a Ranger. These aren't some really quality jersey swaps. No, that is Corey Seager. And look, it makes a lot of sense. He's a Texas-sized shortstop playing for the Texas Rangers. Looks good in the blue, just like Dodger blue, kind of. You got some hints of red in there. It's a nice-looking jersey, I'm not going to lie. And no offense, you're not going to be seeing any postseason patches or any World Series patches on that jersey anytime soon. But hey, everything's bigger in Texas including the contracts and there's no way the Dodgers were getting anywhere close to 10 years 325 million for Corey Seager but Corey Seager is in Texas he said his farewell to LA he took to Instagram to post this message from my first big league at bat to a World Series champ LA thanks for taking a chance and embracing a kid with big dreams made a lot of great memories over the years with a lot of great teammates so short and sweet I'm cool with that I've seen Dodger fans out there say oh they wanted a longer message what did you guys want a thesis did you want some 10 page essay from Corey Seager look this is a player who's been rather reserved in his time in LA so I wasn't expecting anything different look he didn't have to say anything for me look he could have just posted a picture with a peace sign emoji and I would have been cool with it because if Corey Seager doesn't go into God mode in the 2020 postseason if he doesn't slash 328 425 746 with eight bombs and win the NLCS and World Series MVP, the Dodgers World Series drought would still be on today. So Corey Seager, it is all good with me. Best of luck in your next chapter. And look, he did so much with the Dodgers while he was here, and he talked about how special it was for the Dodgers to bring that World Series championship back to Los Angeles, and what an accomplishment it was. You know, bringing a title back to LA was a huge accomplishment. A huge accomplishment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nervous if you can't tell um it was exciting for us i'm not even gonna try to say the word again uh, <laughs> uh yeah um Hey man, so many accomplishments for Corey Seager while he was with the Dodgers, a multi-time All-Star, the NLCS MVP, the World Series MVP, Silver Slugger Awards. He won the Rookie of the Year in 2016. So hey, anytime he comes back to Dodger Stadium, it's going to be all love for Corey Seager. And Seager had nothing but nice things to say about the Dodgers and his experience in LA. He told MLB Network, I can't thank the Dodgers enough for what they've done for me. So look, anytime he visits Dodgers, Stadium. We're going to go crazy. We have the memories. Corey Seager is, to me, a part of Dodger lore forever for what he accomplished in 2020. Now, do I think that the Dodgers should have offered him more money? Do I think that they should have tried to match that $325 million contract that the Rangers gave him? Because you remember, it was reported that the Dodgers had offered Corey Seager a $250 million extension back in spring training. But it was a shorter-term deal. We're talking eight years instead of 10 years. And I think the Dodgers were adamant on not giving out a 10-year contract to Corey Seager. And in my opinion, I'm fine with that. I think 325 for 10 is too high for Corey Seager because you got to talk business. There's a difference between what my heart says and what my head says. And I try to be a little more rational when it comes to the players that I want to sign on my team. And if you look at the top contracts, if you look at Mookie Betts, 12 years, 365 million. Mike Trout, 10 years, 360 million. I think Lindor at 10 years, 341 million million he had a really tough first year up in Queens if he turns it around that could be a different story but I don't think that contract is going to age well Fernando Tatis Jr 14 years 340 million dollars that to me that's a contract that's a great contract for them Giancarlo Stanton 13 years 325 million that's going to age like guacamole in the sun at some point so these 10-year deals generally don't work out very well so I have no issue at all with the Dodgers doing what they did they made an 
an effort to at least try to bring him back to see maybe, hey, if he liked it in Los Angeles, he would take less. But you knew that when it was Scott Boris handling these negotiations and Corey Seager wanting to start a next chapter, I'm pretty sure they didn't put much thought into re-signing with L.A. And I think at this point, you don't feel bad about it. You pretty much, there's a chance you had him in his best years. And look, the postseason, what he did in 2020 was incredible. But he did come back down to earth last October, and he definitely struggled. He hit under 200 in the postseason. He hit 167 in the NLCS. He hit 238 in the NLDS. So did not perform very well in the postseason. And in his career in the postseason, he's slashing 236, 318, 459 with a 777 OPS and 264 plate appearances. And then you add the fact that he's below average defensively. He's in the sixth percentile in outs above average. And that's what the Dodgers using their shifts and their advanced analytics to put him in the best position to make plays. So at the end of the day, you're paying $325 million for a below average shortstop defensively that's going to shift over to third in the near future. So to me, when you consider that too, giving out premium money for a player that's not playing a premium position in the shortstop position, I just don't think the Dodgers gave it very much consideration as far as offering him north of $300 million. And look, when it comes to what he can do with his bat, his hit tool, and his ability to get you doubles, he has that short swing. It's direct to the ball. I think it's going to age well. I'm not doubting that. I just think that you would only get value from that at $250 million or $260 million, not $325 million when you're talking about those kind of contracts. But let me know down below in the comment section, do you think that the Dodgers should have done more to sign Corey Seager? Should they offered him $300 plus million? Would you have liked to see them be more aggressive in trying to keep him in Los Angeles? Because yes, it is painful. You lose a guy that you drafted with the number 18 pick in the 2012 MLB draft. He's a guy that you developed into becoming the top prospect in Major League Baseball. He won the Rookie of the Year and all these accolades that he's accomplished in his career with Los Angeles. But once you kind of separate the emotional side of it and you let him get away, I think you realize that it was what was best for this organization moving forward. But let me know down below in the comment section. I want all your thoughts. Should the Dodgers have given Corey Seager $325 million? Do you think he is worth that price? Do you consider Corey Seager a $300 million player? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. But let me know down below. My name is DMAC. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to GearUp.LA, download the new Dodgers Nation app, and until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.